Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Casey if you're new and thanks for watching. So first order of business, I just want to address that my hair is short, you guys. I don't even remember the last time my hair was this length. I just recently donated 12 inches of it to charity, or not charity, but like wigs for kids is what the organization is called. I just wanted to like give back because my hair grows so fast and it gets so long. After the 12 inches, I st it was probably like down to here. She just had to trim a lot of it off to even it out, which is why it's so short. If you notice a dramatic difference, it's that my hair is obviously very short. Today, I wanted to talk about relationships. Now, this is kind of not something I usually do. I don't do like sit down videos where I talk about random topics but I did want to kind of do this video because I am in a long-distance relationship and I have a few tips that can help a lot of you out if you're just starting out I just thought this would be a very helpful video to film and yeah we're just gonna get right into it so a little bit of background my boyfriend who is Carlo you guys have seen him in my videos before we've been going out for almost three years now and I think that I have a lot of experience. He goes to Purdue, which I'm repping his school right now. Ironically, I go to Indiana University, which is their rival, but I am heading into my sophomore year and he will be a junior. So he's a year older than me. We met in high school when he was a senior. So we have had about like a year of being not long distance but he went off to college while i was still in high school that's like a two and a half hour drive so obviously the distance isn't like across the world but i do consider it to be long distance because it's hard to see each other as often as you want this isn't really a tip but the first thing that i want to emphasize is communication is key i literally cannot emphasize this enough so i know that you probably hear this a lot and i know i did but this phrase couldn't be more true when you guys are apart you and your significant other it's really important to find time to talk to each other what worked for us was having the night to wind down and talk to each other over facetime or whatever video chatting app you may have even if you're just in your dorm alone and like trying to get some work done i always find it really comforting to just have him on the screen there we don't even necessarily need to be talking the whole time but being in each other's presence or knowing that they're there is really comforting for me at least and i think it's important to be able to set that time and talk to your significant other even if things are overwhelming because it could also be like a breath of fresh air if you're really stressed out about things. And I just think that keeping your partner updated with the things that you're doing is really helpful so that they're not worried and stressed out because in the beginning stages of our relationship, I was pretty nervous and insecure about him going off to college, which I think is reasonable but it took a little bit of time for me to like trust him and realize that i really don't have anything to worry about so just trust your partner and make sure that you're keeping each other updated on things just so you're not like freaking out all the time in my opinion if you're not communicating you can't work on your relationship and keep progressing in a positive direction because you're not constantly talking to this person now i don't mean to say you need to talk to them 24 7 every single minute of every day obviously they have class you have class so just a healthy amount of communication is so important and trust me when i say that you guys i have had experience with this next piece of advice that i kind of want to touch on is make the effort to see each other. Now, I know this can be really, really hard. 
if you guys are like an insane distance apart but I was at home for my senior year and he was two and a half hours away in a different state so it took a lot but he definitely made the effort to book like bus tickets to come down and see me for extended weekends holidays like labor day or whatever my mom was not comfortable with me driving down to indiana while i was a senior but his parents did offer to take me so if you know that his parents are traveling to visit then i suggest you take that opportunity and go as well because you only have like a limited time to see each other that was really helpful it got a little bit easier when i went to college because he brought his car down and was able to drive down to iu and visit me for weekends that was really nice too so i think that i saw him more when i got to college than when i was at home and he was the only one in college but i know that can be hard if you're a plane ride away i'd say just make the effort and book tickets it doesn't have to be all the time and i know that that can get really expensive but i did have to book shuttles to get to purdue and we went through this whole process because the bus didn't go straight to purdue it went to indy airport and then he had to pick me up at indy it was definitely an effort but it was the fact that we were conscious of that and actually acted upon it and wanted to see each other it's so refreshing after a while of not seeing each other to be reunited and feel all those sparks again you guys no feeling compares third thing that i want to emphasize is if you guys really love each other and are willing to make it work it will work I know that some things can get in the way of this such as a lot of fighting because we did fight every couple fights it's normal in a relationship and it's hard but if you guys remember that you are on the same team and you're against the fight instead of against each other then you should be able to work things out and what works for us is just keeping in mind that we have imagined a future together and we want that future together and no fight should ever break our dreams apart i know that there's a lot of other factors that play in but i do kind of believe that if you put in the effort to work it out it will work out a lot of relationships kind of break apart in college because they want to explore different things or whatnot and there's nothing wrong with that if you feel like you want to be independent then so be it but if you want to be with this person and you guys find yourself constantly getting into fights just know that it's difficult for everybody and you should work together to fight the fights <laughs> if that makes sense instead of pitting against each other and not realizing that you guys actually do love each other and in the end the only thing you want is to be with that person if you put in the work it will work i don't know how else to explain that and i'm really sorry that's kind of the best way i can put it fourth thing is super obvious stay loyal I know this is incredibly difficult for some people for whatever reason, but just stay loyal to your significant other. Put yourself in their shoes if you feel like you want to go off and venture. Just imagine that same thing happening to you and then you will know that you, do, you would not like that. So stay loyal to your significant other and if you do feel yourself drifting apart, take a step back and kind of reevaluate yourself and figure out why you're feeling this way if it's just a phase or if you're really not feeling the relationship anymore and if you really think that you're going to go through with hooking up with another person please just respect the other person and break up with them before you break your relationship apart with cheating nobody likes a cheater just don't do it and be respectful the fifth thing that i want to emphasize is it's okay to be sad i have been with carlo for almost three years and there hasn't been one time where we've had to say goodbye to each other that i have not cried and i know it sounds super cheesy but it's true every single time 
he leaves after visiting me for a weekend i'll cry every time he goes back to college before me i'll cry every time we say goodbye after thanksgiving or winter or spring break I will cry. I think that's completely okay. It shows that you genuinely love and miss this person so much and that you care for them, that you want to always be with them as much as you can. I think it's okay to express your emotions and just don't hold it in. Like, there's no point in hiding the fact that you miss your significant other. I think that's completely okay. If you get in your feels once in a while, it's okay, but Another piece of advice, try to keep yourself distracted because it is going to be hard at first. Whether it's focusing on schoolwork or making new friends or hanging out with your friends or watching a movie, whatever it may be, just try to keep yourself distracted all the while talking to your significant other, like Snapchatting them, asking them how their day has been, and that's okay too. I remember when he first went to college, I went to like a bonfire and that was good because I was able to just hang out with friends and let him like experience what college was like and it's just important for you guys to be able to know that they love you and know that you love them and then look forward to the next time you'll be seeing them last thing i kind of want to say is i know that as hard as it may be not being with somebody that you want to be with every single day distance does make the heart grow fonder I know as hard as it is to hear that, it definitely is in a way true. I could easily spend every single day with him, but I know that the feeling of seeing him again after a while is just so refreshing and so rewarding. It's almost like, good job, you guys have made it this far. Enjoy your time with each other. Bask in that happiness and that moment when it comes. And if you guys have any questions, please leave them down below. Feel free to message me and I will try my best to give you my advice i hope that this video came across clearly to you in any way if it helped you in any way then i'm happy and that's all i really want is for you guys to be able to make it through i know i did and if you're new to this thing don't worry it gets easier i mean it'll always be hard but it'll get easier i promise thank you so much for watching i am always here for you guys i love you guys and i will see you all in my next video Bye. Bye.